As the people of Mexico prepared for what some call the eclipse of the millennium, due to the maximum duration of 6 minutes 45 seconds, one of the longest in history, one thing was certain. This would become the most scrutinized and photographed eclipse ever recorded. Shortly after 1 p.m., 17 different people, unknown to each other, in different locations, waited with camcorders in hand. Most were astronomy or history buffs, only expecting to capture the total eclipse on videotape. Padre Manuel Ferrer, a Catholic priest in the southern quadrant of the city, focuses on the luminous orb in the darkened sky. The time is now 1.24 p.m. The sun is in full eclipse. It's 1.27 p.m. After the moon has crossed the center of the sun and the hovering object still remains in place. Camped on the rooftop with friends, a TV, and their camcorder, the Aguilar family turns the event into a fiesta. Note that the camera's clock reads 1.04 p.m. in the beginning and 1.25 p.m. at the end. This indicates that the UFO, known in Mexico as an OVNI, remains stationary over the world's largest city for at least 20 minutes. An executive with Televisa, Mexico's largest television network, Guillermo Araguin, was the first to step forward. He explained that his location on the roof afforded an excellent view of the dramatic incident. Optical enhancement of the object he taped depicts a metal disc-shaped craft. It is suspended in the air and it seems to be floating, perhaps rotating on its own axis. Members of the Breton family gathered in Puebla, an industrial center 132 kilometers southeast of Mexico City. They planned carefully for this historical moment. Sunshades were ready, telescopes calibrated, and the cloth positioned. The Breton family recorded the silvery object at 1.22 p.m., approximately 85 miles from the location where Mr. Araguin took his identical footage. Optical enhancement and split screen is utilized to compare the segments taken by Mr. Araguin in Mexico City and Mr. Breton in Puebla. The two spacecraft correspond in size and shape. Were there two similar objects, one over Mexico City and another over Puebla? Or was there one object with the capability of a hyperleap of 85 miles, accomplished in a split second? In the northeast portion of this massive city, Laura Hernandez zoomed in on one object she thought was a planet. Slow motion gives us a better view, and enhancement shows a pulsating energy from the metallic craft. Ms. Hernandez was surprised to learn that she had taped a UFO. Miguel Angel Torres recorded this segment over the central portion of Mexico City. The enhancement shows a metallic craft emanating bursts of color. A corona effect we have not seen before. At the Televisa Studios, the six best videos taken during the historic eclipse are put through comparative analysis. All are disc-shaped, structured, metallic objects that reflect sunlight. The masters of the stars could not have planned this better. 
At a time when all eyes were cast to the sky, 17 different people in different quadrants of the city videotaped an object hovering below the great eclipse of July 11, 1991. The sixth sun and the era of cosmic awareness had begun. Whether by design or accident, the UFO flap over Mexico City is, thanks to the video camcorder, the most documented mass sighting ever. The object or objects were seen and taped for a duration of 30 minutes. The eclipse footage had flamed the Mexican passion for intellectual debate. Why were the sightings so overt? The UFO had positioned itself beneath the eclipsing sun at a time when millions of people were looking up. Why? Unless it wanted to be seen. And the ultimate question? Why Mexico? Some thought it was an unknown intelligence carrying out a scientific mission similar to what our scientists were doing at that same time, measuring and monitoring. If they were seen, so what? The Air Force and no one else would challenge them. Others believed it was indeed a fulfillment of the ancient prophecy. The age of cosmic awareness was being ushered in by gods in sleek silvery chariots drawing attention to the sixth sun and to the return of Quetzalcoatl. 